Hi, Center Prep and Families. This is Christina Howard, the school psychologist. And today I'm going to read a book called Listening to My Body. It's by Gabby Garcia, illustrated by Ying Hui Tan. And thank you to Skinned Knee Publishing for allowing us to use your book in this video. Listening to My Body. My body is my friend. It tells me lots of things. I yawn when I'm tired. My stomach growls to let me know I'm hungry. And sometimes I get goosebumps when I'm cold. This happens on its own, without me doing anything. I may not even notice that it's happening, but I can start paying attention to my body, and so can you. Look closely at the palm of your hands and notice the lines. Use your finger to draw softly on those lines. And notice how that feels for you. Um, I actually do this with some of my groups. Um, what we do is with my younger kids, um, I often just have them draw a circle on the palm of their hand with their breath. So breathing in and breathing out. And with my older students, we do what's called figure eight breathing, where we, um, on one side of the figure eight, we breathe in, and on the other side, we breathe out. And so then you're just noticing how that feels for you. When I pay attention and listen to my body, I notice many different sensations. Sensations are the physical feelings we all have inside and outside our bodies. Cold, sweaty, strong, and breathless are examples of sensations. Have you felt these sensations before? Let's practice. Rub your hands together quickly for 30 seconds. What do you notice? Heat? Tingles? Sweat? Anything else? Those are sensations. Now again, pause your video and give this a try. The sensations in my body are always changing. There are times when my body is so wiggly and squirmy that it's like I have ants in my pants. At other times, my body is calm and still. Sometimes the beat of my heart is like a gentle tap. Sometimes it feels like a pounding drum. Place your hand over your heart and see if you feel its beat. It's okay if you can't. Now jump up and down quickly 15 times. Place your hand on your heart again. What happened to your heartbeat? Did it change or stay the same? Do you notice anything else? Like a change in your temperature or your breathing? I can also listen to my body for clues about how I am feeling about the things happening around me. Feelings are not good or bad. They're something we all experience. Curious, proud, grumpy, and scared are a few feelings we all have. What other feelings can you name? Maybe think about the zones and all the different feelings we've talked about that fall into the different zones. What I've learned from listening to my body is that sensations and feelings go together. I noticed this when I got to ride a roller coaster for the first time. I was super excited that I was finally tall enough to ride it, but I also felt nervous as I climbed on board. My belly felt squishy and fluttery. My mom calls that having butterflies in your stomach, but I thought it felt more like a kitty chasing ping pong balls in there. <laughs> what sensations do you notice when you're excited or nervous? When I got off the roller coaster, I was buzzing and tingly all over. My eyes were like saucers. 
and I had a smile plastered on my face. I felt awesome. So let's practice. Place your hand on your belly and take 10 deep breaths. I'm gonna take three with you and then you can pause the video and take seven more. Ready? Notice your belly as it moves in and out with each breath. How does your belly feel? Soft, relaxed, tight, something else? Sometimes when I'm sad, I get a lump in my throat that makes it hard to talk or breathe. Soon warm tears roll down my face and I may start to cry harder. Crying makes me feel better. So do hugs. We all feel sad at times. What do you need when you're sad? So for example, sad falls in the blue zone and a hug might help you feel better. Talking to a loving grown up might help you feel better. Sometimes exercise and getting your body moving. So let's practice. Wrap your arms around yourself and give yourself a gentle hug. Move your hands up and down your arms. Squeeze a little tighter and find what feels best for you. Do you like a tight hug or a gentle squeeze? My mom once explained to me that sensations and feelings are like the waves in the ocean. Some come crashing in while others roll in gently and they always come and go. We can't stop the waves from coming, but we can pay attention to them so they don't knock us over. Sometimes my skin gets burning hot and my jaw and fists feel hard as rocks. That happens to my body the last time I got really angry at my sister. She just destroyed the puzzle I was working on all afternoon. I stomped my feet and slammed the door. What zone is that? But I really wanted to kick it. But then I remember to take deep breaths and blow out through my lips like a horse. And it didn't take long for my jaw and hands to relax and for my skin to cool down. The angry feeling and sensations faded away. Blowing horse lips even made me feel a little silly and it tickled. I decided to put the puzzle on a table that my sister couldn't reach. Let's practice. Close your mouth so that your lips touch gently. Inhale through your nose and blow a strong puff of air through your mouth so that your lips flap like a horse's. Try that a couple of times. What do you notice? How do your lips and jaw feel? Sometimes I get overwhelmed and need help from a grown-up. On the first day of school, I woke up super early because I couldn't stop thinking about what my new class would be like. My stomach felt like it was tied in knots, so I didn't eat breakfast. In class, it was hard for me to focus on what my new teacher, Ms. Morgan, was saying, and my body was shaky. When it was time to line up, I accidentally bumped my desk and knocked my stuff all over the floor. Everything was going wrong. Ms. Morgan helped me pick up my things and I took deep breaths like she reminded me to. I told her about my morning and she explained that our brains have a hard time thinking when our bodies are tired and hungry. Ms. Morgan thought I would feel better if I had a snack and rested in a quiet place while the class was at recess. She was right. When I came back to the classroom, I was calm and able to focus so the rest of my day went much better. It's okay to get help when we need it. 
Who is an adult that helps you? At other times when I'm upset, I can figure out what I need on my own by listening to my body. I can pay attention to my breathing, my heartbeat, the temperature of my skin, or to any other sensation. Am I hungry or thirsty? Tired or full of energy? Is my belly tense and tight or soft and relaxed? Those are just some questions I can ask myself. I can also try to name my feelings. Do I feel peaceful or playful? Confused or frustrated? Hurt or cranky? There are many different ways I may be feeling and they are all okay. Listening to my body and naming what I feel takes practice, but it helps me figure out what I need do I need to have a snack, drink some water, or get some rest? Do I need to take deep breaths or sing my favorite song? Do I need to sit in a quiet place alone or go outside and jump around? I can color or draw, dance, cuddle with my dog, or hang around someone I love. These are things I do that help me feel calm, happy, or peaceful. Everybody is different. So you get to decide what feels best for you. The more I practice listening to my body, the better I get at responding with care and kindness for myself. I can get better at listening to my body and so can you. Let's practice. Listen to your body. Do you want to sit down or stand up? Do you need to be still or move around? Would you like to wiggle and jiggle, hop or dance? It's your body, so you get to decide. Move in a way that feels good to you. So thank you for listening to this story. Um, I feel like this aligns really nicely with the zones as well. Um, in regards to paying attention to the way that your body's feeling and picking strategies that help to either give your body energy or calm your body back down. And um, I'm hoping later this week that I'll have access to my materials and I can do a quick video on the zones and to be able to explain that a little bit better for families that um, are just learning through this distance learning process. So thank you again. And um, again, if you need any need to answer any questions, you can feel free to give me um, an email at choward at epsd.us. Thank you. Bye-bye.